Hey guys, it's me again. Guess who it is? Yeah, it's me, that guy over there. What else is new? So I thought I'd do something a little different today. A few people have actually asked how I draw the things I do. Like this thing. I'm actually kind of proud of this thing. I drew it the other day. It's called the Spiny Nebula. It's going to be one of the bosses in my upcoming game, The Way Back. So, basically I thought I'd just draw something today and record me doing it, obviously. So, uh, I have no idea what I'm going to draw. This is just going to be completely improv, so... I might draw something completely awesome, or I might draw... or I might draw something that's not very good at all. So, uh, I usually just use these 256 colors. Sometimes I go beyond that and make my own colors. But, uh... Yeah, so let's get started. I guess I'll draw a boss or something for my game. And I set the default thing so that when I right click, it takes samples the color that I'm overlapping. That makes it a lot easier to do some of the things I do. Like if I just messed up right there, I can sample that, draw it over that, and take some white. And clearly what we have going here is an eye. And, uh can't tell you much more than that. Big red eye. And of course there's happy background music just to accompany me. Uh, hmm. So it has a horn. That's another horn. And this is just how I do it. It's, there's nothing high tech about it. I never use Photoshop or anything to make filters or gradients or anything like that. It's all just, uh, my own freehand drawing skills, I guess. Er, that looks pretty generic, so I'm gonna try and make something more nifty than that. But yeah, it's just a whole lot of refining edges like I'm doing now. And I'm gonna take this a totally different direction. We've all seen dragons before. How about I make this like a big mole thing or something? I don't know. Thinking out loud here. So how have you guys been? It's 2010 now. I can't believe that. It's ridiculous. It's like time just left me at 2000 and fast forwarded itself and now all of a sudden I'm going to turn 20 years old and it's insane. Uh, I, I really don't know what's what's going on with this thing anymore. Hmm. Like I said, this is totally improv right here, so you're just seeing the whole process. Probably should have had an idea of what I was going to do first, but you know me, I'm always just doing things out of nowhere. Uh, okay. Uh, that's, I'm gonna go with that it's big chin dragon happy face thing frog thing there <laughs> no 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 although I could do that that would be kind of cool big red frog dragon spike thing majig don't know where's my background music why don't I put on something different? Now you can hear it, I think. So, yeah. Needless to say, drawing this stuff takes forever. Wow, I'm actually making good time. I thought it'd be like taking 20 minutes to make a single drawing, which does happen sometimes. Sometimes it takes me two hours to make a drawing. Don't even get me started about some of the sprites in a fall tale. Those things were ridiculous. So, uh... Okay. You know, I've been drawing with red this whole time, and I think, uh, I think it's about time that I change colors. So let's make this thing have a weird belly. In fact, let's give it something really, really weird. 
have a thing, I guess, for like webbing and weird patterns like this, so I'm gonna do that. Let's make him have a glowing belly. Just to change it off of it. Change it to a freaky Yeah. Da 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 Da, da. Oh my goodness. This is the weirdest freaking sprite I've ever drawn. Let's put some color into this guy. Uh, no. Okay, so, oops. What I'm gonna do here to make a nifty effect is I'm gonna color it like that. I'm gonna put a bright color in there. That's not bright enough. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that is weird. And we need to make this brighter. And this is how I make things different. I actually go through and color them each of the color each of them manually. It's not the fastest way of doing things, I know. But works for me, and that's the way I've done it, so uh, that's the way I'm always going to do it, I guess. And just to make this a little more detailed, add some dots and some stuff like that, which will look like veins standing out against the glowing background. Add some shading to this guy. Ooh, I like that. I kind of like how this guy's turning out. He doesn't look like a boss, though. He looks like some character that's just going to, like, talk to you. Who knows? Maybe you'll even see this guy in the actual game. Maybe he'll be the shopkeeper. Frog dragon shopkeeper. Sounds about right. I mean, look at this grin he has on his face. He can't be evil. Not with a grin like that. Uh, and then, whoop, yeah, I don't want to make him look like he's wearing eyeshadow. But I do want to soften the area around his eyes. And it's going to look like he's wearing eyeshadow. But, you know, that's okay. Because dragons can do that. Dragon frogs. Oh, that shadow is way too deep. Yeah, there we go. Color it more softly. All this music you've been hearing over the last few vids, that's that's all my music composed by me. That guy over there, whose name happens to be uh yeah. Something I'm not gonna say, because I do not feel comfortable having my name floating around on the internet. I don't know, it's it's just one of those weird things about me. Okay, I feel like I just wasted so much time. Wow! Oh man, I gotta finish this fast. Okay, so we're gonna make him have a spike right there. No, we're not going to make him have a spike right there. We're going to draw some feet up here, because I figure this guy, he deserves to be made cuter. Gonna draw some feet, boom, boom, boom. Make some shadows, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Aw, oh, he's gonna be a cute little dragon frog thing. And what you do is you copy this, and you go, boom. Well, first you do that, and then you copy this again, and then you take this, and then you go boom, and then you delete this, and then you paste that, and then you copy this, and then you paste that, and and then you realize that he looks awesome. He really does look awesome. And let's just give him a tail. Because he deserves it. And, uh, yeah. This has been 
let's draw with I want to be the guy. I want to be the guy. Where the heck did that come from? I mean, I like that game and all, but that was weird. With that guy over there, not I want to be the guy. Oh, I've been watching, watching way too many playthroughs of that game. It was made with this program, don't you know? That was it's pretty awesome. And let's just give him some last quick texturing, just to make him look less generic. And there you go. Move this to the front. You can save these in the, some random animation just so I can look back at it. Bring him down there, put its hot spot to the middle, put its extra point somewhere random. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Oh, and uh, I'm going to have to edit it or something because I just went over. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Have a nice day.